Python on Hardware News. Lady Ada, it is time. Yes. Blinka, blinka. There is so much stuff. We were just talking about how many boards are there on circuitpython.org slash downloads? I'm really glad you asked. There's 248. So when there's 250, what's the 250th anniversary color or jewel? Platinum? It, I don't know. I mean, like, most people don't live that long, so I don't think there's like a gift. Wow. Well, but we can make some cool graphics. Some of us do. Okay. So um, let's go over the newsletter. CircuitPython 7.1.0 beta is available. Check out all the things and more. Is there anything in particular that you want to... Mm, people who are interested in async, uh, async I.O. and uh, concurrency will, uh, uh, you know, well, first off, check the notes. Um, you know, we added C3 support. Uh, you know, there's a couple things that made it right after 7.0. Um, but for the most part, we, uh, we're caught up to 1.17 on MicroPython. Um, we have a bunch of graphics and camera stuff that Jepler's added and uh, async, async I.O. supports coming. Okay. Uh, Make Magazine is now on the Internet Archive, but you can check it out. And I, by check it out, you reserve one and you get to use it, and then you turn it back in. Um, in particular, if you want to check out the issue that you were on, um, the Rise of the Python issue, and then uh, German was on uh, the, the cover of Make recently. So there's some really good ones. Check it out. We have links to that and more. Um, there was the PyCast over on um, Tom's Hardware. Scott talked about booting CircuitPython on the Raspberry Pi. Um, we have the updates with Visual Studio. Um, this one I sent over to Ann to put in. This is an open source interface prototyping thing. Hmm. For the folks who are like, um, you know, you're, you're working on an interface together on something, this is an open source collaborative thing. It's in beta right now, it's called PenPot. Um, a lot of people are designing mobile interfaces with our stuff too, so it's like, well, this is kind of a cool thing so check it out you know open source um, and then we have our usual long list of things that you'll be able to make create and do with python on hardware it's unending actually technically it is end it does end it's no look i'm just going to scroll and scroll there's like i'm now burrowing a hole in this um trackpad yeah it's just going on forever and ever and ever so um, my highlight of the week this week it was a tweet um that I thought was kind of interesting. So someone was like, hey, um, how do you, do you have any suggestions for sources for a 12 year old to get interested in introducing coding? And, and this person, Thomas, I think said it best. Just keep it fun. Circuit Playground was developed with teenagers in mind. Adafruit has tons of tutorials and vlogs maybe start with, and they put the product there. Also, if your niece is looking for a role model, the whole company was built by a, a pink haired lady in Manhattan. So um, it's true. One of the things, no start. This is not a green screen. Yeah, <laughs> you know, if I got a pink screen, it would look like you know you wouldn't be there. You just that'd yeah. be cool. Um, you know, sometimes on Desk of Lady Data, when there's something on your screen that's uh, green, it shows through. It's kind of yeah. cool. Um, so oh, I emailed the no starch folks because I'm like, hey, like y'all might want to consider doing a, a Circuit Python book for kids. So we'll see. I keep, I keep emailing them these examples, so we'll we'll see if they do it. But I thought that was neat because sometimes people say the thing that you're thinking even better than you could. Mm. And um, I thought that was cool. And then uh, next up, Trevor is working on PyLeap. Um, I'm going to put the links in the chat right now because um, you'll be able to get on this uh, demo and this beta and more. So while this video is playing, I'm gonna put those links in and I think our team is going to as well. You can join this right now. Here we go. Hey, this is Trevor and I'm here to show you our new PyLeap beta. Uh, PyLeap basically takes example code from the Adafruit Learn system and you're able to transfer that same example code to your Bluetooth device. Let's see that in action. So first I'm going to put this into pairing mode. Make sure it's right. There we go. All right. Okay. Now we're going to run our first example project and send over some rainbows to our circuit so pick on blue fruit. Bam. There we go. Let's send over a blinking example. There we go. Let's try. Okay. I think I had that on loop. So, um, I put the, uh, links in the chat. What I'm going to also do is put them in the other chats. And then let's see if there's any other place. If anyone could help anyone who still needs it, please put them in all the chats. I think I got to all of them. So you could be on the beta and then you can, um, you can try this out on your own. 
And with that is Python on Hardware News this week. Yay, Blinka!